Hello everyone. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional custodians of country throughout Australia and their continuing connection to land, water and community. I acknowledge and value their diverse cultures and pay my respect to ancestors, elders and community of Australia's First Nations. My name is Sally Lowenstein and I'm a data engagement lead at the Bureau of Meteorology working within the Data Governance Office. Since the office was established about three years ago, one of the highest priorities has been to implement a stewardship model. This essentially involves assigning both accountability and responsibility to all Bureau data. And this is not an insignificant task. The Bureau collects millions of observations every day from thousands of different sources. We ingest four petabytes of data and deliver countless essential data services and products every year. In order to manage all this data effectively, it's essential that we are enabling our people, providing them with the tools, guidance and the clarity they need to perform their roles. We believe the best way to coordinate this is through a stewardship model. And so today I'll be outlining the approach we will take to assign these roles and how we have developed the role profiles that will underpin the model. The stewardship model at the Bureau is required to function within existing resources. This is not necessarily a limitation as the best data stewards are found, not hired. We know that in most cases, data stewards already exist at the Bureau. The work is essentially being done with varying success, but often in an uncoordinated way. Therefore, the key to successful implementation is in building a solid foundation with a focus on support and role clarity for our staff. In many ways, we are simply formalising and documenting the responsibilities and activities that are already being done. This task in and of itself will go a long way towards reducing complexity, confusion, duplication and risk around our data. In saying that, there will be some additional duties our stewards will need to take on, especially as we begin to roll out the model, which is why when developing our role profiles, we have tried to strike a balance to ensure we are both inspiring and encouraging data stewards to embrace these new roles, while being upfront about the commitment required for the model to be successful. There are three key stewardship roles that will form the core of this model. We have domain data stewards who will be our senior leaders accountable for ensuring that the data and information within their domain is of appropriate quality, it's accessible and it's secure. We also have lead data stewards and they will act as a single point of contact for the business. They're responsible for overseeing the management of all the data within a data stream. We also have operational data stewards who will be subject matter experts and responsible for the day-to-day -day management of data in a particular area. I've included an example of our operational data steward role profile here. Now it goes without saying that with such varied data requirements at the Bureau, each individual steward's day-to-day task could look really different. However, there are commonalities that will tie these roles together and these are what we've used to underpin our structure. Each role profile is split into three sections. We have a high level description of the role, a description of how an individual could be assigned or nominated, and a table outlining the key responsibilities and tasks. These key responsibilities are then split into four categories. We have leadership and coordination, which outlines the decision-making responsibilities for each role, what actions they need to initiate and what those triggers are. The second section is data management, and this includes more specific tasks relating to the data itself, like managing quality, business rules, updating data management plans, and providing information, advice, and feedback. Strategic planning is another requirement that sits across all roles. Things like succession planning, allocating time and resourcing, tackling specific data issues, or making recommendations. And finally, learning and development is something all stewards will undertake as part of their role. However, it will ultimately be the responsibility of each individual to assess their existing knowledge against the responsibilities listed in the role profile to ensure they can comfortably carry out their duties. The Bureau is currently piloting aspects of the stewardship model. And as we progress and more stewards are assigned, we expect that elements of these profiles will evolve and mature, but that the foundations will remain for the foreseeable future. Thank you again for listening. If you'd like any further information on how the implementation of the stewardship model is progressing at the Bureau and our learnings to date, please feel free to reach out.